Senator Saxby Chambliss is the vice chairman of the Senate Intel Committee. He's with me now. Uh, Mr. Mr. Chambliss, good of you to be here, Senator. Thank you. Hey, always good to be with you, Megan. Let's start with this file on Bo Bergdahl and, and reports that the CIA has actively looked into whether he has been collaborating, not just taken hostage by, but collaborating with the enemy. What can you tell us? Well, after Sergeant Bergdahl was uh, captured, obviously, there was a lot of uh, unknown facts. And uh, those facts, frankly, Megan, are somewhat still unknown. But the Army did do an investigation of Sergeant Bergdahl. And when we, the Intelligence Committee, were first apprised by the administration that there may be a potential swap of prisoners for Sergeant Bergdahl, I asked for a copy of his file. And I reviewed his file. Um, they wouldn't let my staff look at it, but they would let me look at it. And uh, I can tell you, uh, the article in the New York Times uh, today shocked me. This note that he supposedly left that um, indicated that he was sympathetic to the Taliban and, and uh, unsympathetic to the American interest in this conflict was not included in that file. And I'm very surprised by that because normally those classified files are are pretty um, uh, pretty informative, but um, uh, you think somebody's the, holding back, the, holding out on you? Well, I don't know. I mean, I, I have no explanation for it. But there were, like, I say, I was shocked today. But but what I do know is that uh, the army doesn't know really what happened, and um, uh, they haven't apparently gotten detailed statements from. His uh, fellow platoon members who have been very vocal over the last couple of days, uh, there was nothing in that file from uh, regarding statements from any of those individuals as mm -hmm. to what they saw that night. Mm -hmm. And, um, and they've been uh, there very are just vocal a lot of unanswered questions by the Army. Let's talk about these uh, five guys because you and your Democratic counterpart, the chairman of the committee, Diane Feinstein, a Democrat, have come out repeatedly and said no to these five guys, said we do not want you to release them. We object. We think they're dangerous. The administration, some officials had agreed with you, and yet a couple of years later, without notifying Congress, the president did it. Ha ha do we have any reason to believe they've gotten less dangerous, and how concerned are you about repeat violence? Well, number one, they're more dangerous today than ever. The longer they stayed in Guantanamo, uh, the more radical they become. Uh, but uh, if you leave them in Guantanamo, as the president's own review commission recommended in 2009, then uh, you don't have to worry about them, and that's fine. Um, but the fact of the matter is that these are five of the most dangerous folks in the world. This is Mullah Omar's board of directors. It's his Fab Five team. Uh, it's individuals who have been involved in high-level positions in the, the Taliban. Uh, individuals who have been directly uh, connected to Osama bin Laden from a financial standpoint, as well as from an intelligence standpoint. Right. So these guys are dangerous. They're, uh, they're more hardened than ever now. And uh, I, I have no, it's, it's totally irrational to me as to what the president could have been thinking when he made the decision to release these five individuals. Oh. and. Albeit, you know, you're a parent, I'm a parent, I'm, I'm happy this young man is going to be reunited with his parents in, in Idaho, but uh, this was a bad deal, and it's a deal that unfortunately impacts the national security interest of every Understood. single American. Understood. And, and it's I, truly a bad deal. I know you're pushing tonight to declassify additional intelligence related to these men. We shall see where the president goes with that. Senator, thank you for being yep. here.